Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mink, this is Mink's Kinks. And ladies, we are doing something a little bit different. I'm in a different location. Let me know how you guys like this. I was thinking about doing this on my couch, but it just wasn't giving away. I wanted it to. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the grass being cut in the back out of my control. Mm -hmm. So yes, y'all, I'm sorry if y'all can hear that in the background, but as you guys read by the title, we're getting into a little talk about some Yoni pearls. So I, of course, will have the pearls that I use linked down below. But yeah, so this video is going to be about what they do, um, my experience with them. Girl, what came up out of me? Okay, so um, I did a healing self-care video and asked you guys if you guys wanted to see, um, I did Yoni steaming in that video and now I'm doing Yoni pearls because you guys were really curious about the pearls. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out. And if you are still interested in like a detailed video of Yoni steaming, comment that down below and like the video so that I can know that that's needs to be added to the to the docket but okay y'all so let's go ahead and start with what they are so these are the yoni pearls that i got and in this little packet it comes with three of the applicators and then here is the actual yoni pearls hopefully you guys are able to see that um I, I definitely think y'all can see that one steam is equal to three pearls so you put them in three separate times there's like directions and everything but i'm going to tell you guys what they do first so for me i uni steam i try to do it like every six months but you know so why do i uni steam so a i um this is gonna be a very honest video we're talking a lot of vaginal care um women's health so if you're grossed out, you might as well go on and click off now because this is going to be a very TMI type of video, but let's get into it. And of course, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you. Okay, but yeah, so I Yoni Steam because I'm prone to yeast infections. Not sure why. I went to the doctors about it. Girl, they don't know why, but whatever. I'm prone to yeast infections. And also, you guys, I have really, really bad cramps. So I'm not on birth control anymore. I was on Depo for a really long time. Um, I want to say high school through maybe my freshman year of college. I don't know. And I, when I tell y'all I was packing on the pounds, I mean, baby girl was getting thick, okay? And I wasn't for it. Um, I will say that Depo did help shrink my fibroids, which we love to see that. But in the long run, it just wasn't worth it. And y'all know me. I like to try and figure out a little home remedy before I go ahead and go pick something up off the shelf or anything. And that's what led me to Yoni Pearls. So for me, Yoni Pearls have helped relieve my cramping. Uh-huh. Help relieve my cramping a ton. And then they also... Um, pull a lot of things from your womb so in your vaginal area that tends to hold a lot of trauma and just negative energy and we need to release that <laughs> girls we need to let that go so it tends to hold yeast there's dry blood on like your vaginal walls um it also like i said just holds negative energy there can be leftover residue of things that are just coming down that just don't need to be there but just get stuck in there and they also say that it is good if you are trying to conceive a child um i don't know nothing about that it also helps with the lubrication of your vagina and then it also helps release bad energy and i like to do that especially um sometimes you just have people in your life who aren't there forever i know that i went through a breakup a couple months ago now which is crazy but i want to make sure that i cleanse my body and release um that person so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna release all of that bad energy but i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys how i plan to use the cleanse and everything and we'll get into it okay you guys so i went ahead and pulled up the directions on my phone um which i highly recommend i also y'all it is so important to stay very very hydrated during this experience so drink a ton of water it's the same thing like if you're on any medications or anything drink a ton of water that helps you know push everything out of your body um so drink a ton of water as well as make sure you're getting enough sleep because 
baby girl it can be a little bit you know it's, it's something different for your body i'm not gonna say it hurts um i have experienced some cramping with uni pearls before y'all i've used them like twice before so um this isn't my first go around but i like to read the directions so that i girl so i'm doing it right because one thing we don't mess with is our girl okay so let's go ahead read the directions and all of that i'm so excited y'all the cleanse it says it takes seven to nine days i It'll probably be more like nine for me. Um, yeah. So it says, you know, to wash your hands, insert the product, all of that. Um, girls, this is what it comes in. It's almost like a bigger tampon applicator. So I did not learn how to use a tampon until I was in my sophomore year of college. So girls, I got your back. I'm going to let you know. So basically, it's like... You know that tampon applicator where the cotton goes inside and then it's like around this plastic tube so since there's no cotton in the middle that's where you're going to put your yoni pearl i don't want to take mine out because my hands aren't clean a and this is going into my my vagina um so my hands aren't clean but i'm gonna try and give you guys a little visual so since there's no cotton it's just like an empty tube you want to stick the yoni pearl in the top of there make sure you unravel the little string Make sure you unravel the little string. I've made that mistake before and it did naturally come out. But just for peace of mind, please make sure you, you pull that string out, okay? Um, and then it, since it's like a tampon, you pull it back. You insert it into your vagina um, as far as you can go. And then you just close the little tampon thing and um it's stuck in there you should have a string dangling keep that string there so next in the directions it says leave the pearl in for 48 hours this is how the cleanse is happening again stay hydrated and on these directions it says you are going to experience some discharge all of my experiences i've experienced discharge i'll try to take a picture so that you guys can see what my body naturally released uh-huh i know i have some pictures in my phone from previous experiences but i'm really gonna try hard to make sure that you guys see everything that comes out i also highly 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 recommend that you wear a panty liner while you do this cleanse because there's going to be some discharge and you don't want that on your panties you don't want to be sitting in that all day that's not what we do here okay it also specifies do not put in another yoni pearl until a full 24 hours has passed so i'm going to make sure i follow that direction i have screenshotted these directions because um i'm not going to the site every day so it says make sure you do that and then it's repeat the same steps and process. So you're going to insert the second yoni pearl with your tampon applicator and then your yoni pearls. Again, let that stay in there. Let that marinate for 24 to 48 hours, it says. Oh, you know what, girl? I'm wrong. It says 48 to 72 hours. So I guess it's optional. You will experience some cramp. Well, I'm not going to say you will, but I personally experienced some cramping. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, I tend to get really bad period cramps but it's nothing that you know some advil or ibuprofen will not fix you'll be just fine and i probably wasn't drinking enough water which was contributing to the problem so yeah you guys i'm very excited to be documenting this on camera because the last two times i've done it it has just been very randomly but yeah y'all i will be back when i have something new to share okay you guys so i'm back and blending in with my tv but i wanted to come back and it's like two weeks later girl it's like two weeks later so i wanted to come back Let you guys know how everything went for me so let's go ahead and start with the first yoni pearl okay you guys so i apologize if you guys see me look down i did take notes because i wanted to make sure that i cover all my bases girl so for the first yoni pearl i'm gonna post a pop-up somewhere on the side of what came out of me i took pictures for all three pearls actually i think i took two videos of the first two and then a picture of the last one so the first one it went fine the first night so it was like lighter stomach pains like it didn't feel like cramps but it didn't feel like my stomach was normal either so it was i guess slight cramping but not not anything too crazy like don't don't be afraid of that the cramps i felt like that first one was the worst for sure because that was when um 
it was really starting to you know pull all that all that gunk down and that girl i don't know the science but that's that's what it was doing so then um every, everything else from there was fine but when i removed the pearl there was a large clump on like the the pearl and then i picked out i picked out you know the rest that was in there because i, I couldn't just i couldn't just willy nilly just leave that in there like so um that's what I did and then of course as the direction stated let it my body rest for the 24 hours and then I went in with Yoni Pro number two insert picture here to Mia so with Yoni Pro number two it was the same thing um little to no cramping but baby when I tell y'all I was bloated bloated okay like bloated bloated there wasn't anything like drastically different or anything but I would when I tell y'all I looked about two three months I was like girl what hello hello so that was really it with number two and then pearl number three insert pop up here um so it was the same sort of thing the light bloating um the light cramping you know what i'm saying but this one i did take out 24 hours early because i felt like my period was coming and my period came about three days early which wasn't uncommon from what i read um in the directions and what they have on their website so since we're here and it's like much much later y'all because this period was devious let me tell you and i think that I, I think it may have had something to do with the yoni pearls that was the only thing different i was doing so when i tell y'all the cramps i had before my period brutal brutal uh-huh brutal okay they were rough y'all the cramps were rough um and then the only other thing that i experienced was i had much much heavier bleeding like i really don't tmi tmi i'm sorry i really don't be bleeding like that you know like i bleed but not like anything crazy my period is typically four to five days each month nothing excessive so the time span was still the same but like i said i did bleed much heavier and i had a lot of blood clotting coming out so um that's just something to take note of as well but yeah you guys that has been my experience with the yoni pearls let me know um if you guys have any questions or want to see me try anything down below or try different brands yoni pearls and see if you know that makes any difference or anything but i just wanted to come back share my experience with you guys because y'all deserve it because it's been it's been a hot little minute okay <laughs> so yeah you guys i love you so much and i'll see you in my next one bye